The unknown years of Jesus also called his silent years, lost years, or missing years generally refers to the period of Jesus's life between his childhood and the beginning of his ministry, a period not described in the New Testament. The lost years of Jesus concept is usually encountered in esoteric literature where it at times also refers to his possible post-crucifixion activities but is not commonly used in scholarly literature since it is assumed that Jesus was probably working as a carpenter in Galilee, at least some of the time with his father Joseph, from the age of 12 to 29, so the years were not lost years and that he died on Calvary. In the late medieval period, there appeared Arthurian legends that the young Jesus had been in Britain. In the 19th and 20th centuries theories began to emerge that between the ages of 12 and 29 Jesus had visited Kashmir, or had studied with the Essenes in the Judea desert. Modern mainstream Christian scholarship has generally rejected these theories and holds that nothing is known about this time period in the life of Jesus. The use of the lost years in the swoon hypothesis suggests that Jesus survived his crucifixion and continued his life, instead of what was stated in the New Testament that he ascended into heaven with two angels. This, and the related view that he avoided crucifixion altogether, has given rise to several speculations about what happened to him in the supposed remaining years of his life, but these are not accepted by mainstream scholars either. The 18 unknown years Topic. Topic. New Testamentary Gap Topic. Following the accounts of Jesus' young life, there is a gap of about 18 years in his story in the New Testament. Other than the statement that after he was 12 years old Luke chapter 2 verse 42 Jesus advanced in wisdom and stature and in favor with God and men Luke chapter 2 verse 52 the New Testament has no other details regarding the gap while Christian tradition suggests that Jesus simply lived in Galilee during that period, modern scholarship holds that there is little historical information to determine what happened during those years, the ages of 12 and 29, the approximate ages at either end of the unknown years, have some significance in Judaism of the Second Temple period, 13 is the age of the Bar Mitzvah, the age of secular maturity, and 30 the age of readiness for the priesthood. Although Jesus was not of the tribe of Levi, Levi, Christians have generally taken the statement in Mark chapter 6 verse 3 referring to Jesus as is not this the carpenter as an indication that before the age of 30 Jesus had been working as a carpenter the tone of the passage leading to the question is not this the carpenter suggests familiarity with Jesus in the area reinforcing that he had been generally seen as a carpenter in the gospel account before the start of his ministry Matthew chapter 13 verse 55 poses the question as is not this the carpenter S son suggesting that the profession tecton had been a family business and Jesus was engaged in it before starting his preaching and ministry in the gospel accounts Topic <laughs> <laughs> background of Galilee and Judea Topic the historical record of the large number of workmen employed in the rebuilding of Sepphoris has led Beatty 1984 and others to suggest that when Jesus was in his teens and twenties carpenters would have found more employment at Sepphoris rather than at the small town of Nazareth. Aside from secular employment some attempts have been made to reconstruct the theological and rabbinical circumstances of the unknown years. E.g., soon after the discovery of the Dead Sea Scrolls novelist Edmund Wilson 1955 suggested Jesus may have studied with the Essenes, followed by the Unitarian Charles F. Potter 1958 and others. Other writers have taken the view that the predominance of Pharisees in Judea during that period, and Jesus' own later recorded interaction with the Pharisees, makes a Pharisee background more likely, as in the recorded case of another Galilean, Josephus studied with all three groups, Pharisees, Sadducees and Essenes. Other sources the New Testament Apocrypha and early Christian pseudepigrapha preserve various pious legends filling the gaps in Christ's youth. Charlesworth 2008 explains this is due to the canonical Gospels having left a narrative vacuum that many have attempted to fill. 
Claims of Young Jesus in Britain The story of Jesus visiting Britain as a boy is a late medieval development based on legends connected with Joseph of Arimathea. During the late 12th century, Joseph of Arimathea became connected with the Arthurian cycle, appearing in them as the first keeper of the Holy Grail. This idea first appears in Robert de Boron's Joseph D. Arimathy, in which Joseph receives the Grail from an apparition of Jesus and sends it with his followers to Britain. This theme is elaborated upon in Boron sequels and in subsequent Arthurian works penned by others, some Arthurian legends hold that Jesus travelled to Britain as a boy, lived at Pretty in the Mendips, and built the first wattle cabin at Glastonbury. William Blake's early 19th century poem and did those feet in ancient time was inspired by the story of Jesus travelling to Britain. In some versions, Joseph was supposedly a tin merchant and took Jesus under his care when his mother Mary was widowed. Gordon Strawn wrote Jesus the Master Builder, Druid Mysteries and the Dawn of Christianity 1998, which was the basis of the documentary titled And Did Those Feet 2009. Strawn believed Jesus may have traveled to Britain to study with the Druids. Topic. Claims of Jesus Christ in India and or Tibet before crucifixion Topic. Topic. Louis Jacquelyot, 1869 Topic. The idea of Indian influences on Jesus and Christianity has been suggested in Louis Jacquelyot's book La Bible dans l. Ind. Vi de Ietsius Krishna 1869 The Bible in India, or the life of Jesius Krishna, although Jacqueliot does not claim travels by Jesus to India, Jacqueliot compared the accounts of the life of Bhagavan Krishna with that of Jesus Christ in the Gospels and concluded that it could not have been a coincidence that the two stories have so many similarities in many of the finer details. He concluded that the account in the Gospels is a myth based on the mythology of ancient India. However, Jacqueliot was comparing two different periods of history or mythology and did not claim that Jesus was in India. Jacqueliot used the spelling Krishna instead of Krishna and claimed that Krishna's disciples gave him the name Jesius, a name supposed to mean pure essence in Sanskrit. However, according to Max Muller, that is not a Sanskrit term at all and it was simply invented by Jacqueliot. Topic. Nicholas Notovich, 1887 Topic. In 1887, a Russian war correspondent, Nicholas Notovich, claimed that while at the Hemis Monastery in Ladakh, he had learned of the document, Life of Saint Isa, Best of the Sons of Men, Isa being the Arabic name of Jesus in Islam. Notovich S story, with a translated text of the Life of Saint Isa, was published in French in 1894 as La vie inconnue de Jésus Christ, unknown life of Jesus Christ. According to the scrolls, Jesus abandoned Jerusalem at the age of 13 and set out towards Sindh, intending to improve and perfect himself in the divine understanding and to studying the laws of the great Buddha. He crossed Punjab and reached Puri Jagannath, where he studied the Vedas under Brahmin priests. He spent six years in Puri and Rajgir, near Nalanda, the ancient seat of Hindu learning. Then he went to the Himalayas, and spent time in Tibetan monasteries, studying Buddhism, and through Persia, returned to Jerusalem at the age of 29. Notovich's writings were immediately controversial, and Max Muller stated that either the monks at the monastery had deceived Notovich, or played a joke on him, or he had fabricated the evidence. Muller then wrote to the monastery at Hemis and the head lama replied that there had been no Western visitor at the monastery in the past 15 years and there were no documents related to Notovich's story. J. Archibald Douglas then visited Hemis monastery and interviewed the head lama who stated that Notovich had never been there. Indologist Leopold von Schroeder called Notovich's story a big fat lie. Wilhelm Schneemelcher states that Notovich's accounts were soon exposed as fabrications, and that to date no one has even had a glimpse at the manuscripts Notovich claims to have had. Notovich responded to claims to defend himself. But once his story had been re examined by historians, some even questioning his existence, it is claimed that Notovich confessed to having fabricated the evidence. 
Bart D. Ehrman states that, "...today there is not a single recognized scholar on the planet who has any doubts about the matter. The entire story was invented by Notovich, who earned a good deal of money and a substantial amount of notoriety for his hoax." However, others deny that Notovich ever accepted the accusations against him, that his account was a forgery, etc. Although he was not impressed with his story, Sir Francis Younghusband recalls his meeting with Nicholas Notovich near Skardu, not long before Notovich had visited Hemi's monastery. <laughs> <laughs> Levi H. Dowling, 1908 in 1908, Levi H. Dowling published the Aquarian Gospel of Jesus the Christ which he claimed was channeled to him from the Akashic Records as the true story of the life of Jesus, including the lost 18 years silent in the New Testament. The narrative follows the young Jesus across India, Tibet, Persia, Assyria, Greece and Egypt. Dowling's work was later used by Holger Kurson who combined it with elements derived from other sources such as the Ahmadiyya beliefs. Topic. Rejection by modern mainstream New Testament scholarship Topic. Modern mainstream Christian scholarship has generally rejected any travels by Jesus to India, Tibet or surrounding areas as without historical basis. Robert Van Voorst states that modern scholarship has almost unanimously agreed that claims of the travels of Jesus to Tibet, Kashmir or rest of India contain nothing of value. Marcus Borg states that the suggestions that an adult Jesus traveled to Egypt or India and came into contact with Buddhism are without historical foundation. John Dominic Crossan states that none of the theories presented about the travels of Jesus to fill the gap between his early life and the start of his ministry have been supported by modern scholarship. Leslie Holden states that although modern parallels between the teachings of Jesus and Buddha have been drawn, these comparisons emerged after missionary contacts in the 19th century and there is no historically reliable evidence of contacts between Buddhism and Jesus. Paula Fredrickson states that no serious scholarly work places Jesus outside the backdrop of first-century Palestinian Judaism. Topic. Claims of life after surviving crucifixion Topic. The swoon hypothesis in critical Western literature concerns later years of Jesus after the crucifixion, with a range of hypotheses that suggest later death in Kashmir, Rome or during the siege of Masada in Judea. The traditional Islamic view of Jesus' death does not propose later years of Jesus, since based on the statements in Quran 4-157-158, most Muslims believe Jesus was raised to heaven without being put on the cross and God transformed another person at times interpreted as Judas Iscariot or Simon of Cyrene to appear exactly like Jesus who was crucified instead of Jesus. Some interpretations of Hadith and other traditions have Jesus. Life continuing on earth. Ibn Babaway D. CE in Iqmal ad-Din recounts that Jesus went to a far country. Topic. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, 1899 Topic. According to Mirza Ghulam Ahmad the founder of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community, the further sayings of Muhammad say that Jesus died in Kashmir at the age of 120 years. They identify the holy man Yusuf buried at the Rosa Bal Shrine in Srinagar, India as Jesus on the basis of an account in the history of Kashmir by the Sufi poet Khwaja Muhammad Azam Didamari that the holy man Yusuf buried there was a prophet and a foreign prince. Paul C. Pappas states that from a historical perspective, the Ahmadi identification of Yusuf with Jesus relies on legends and documents which include clear historical errors e Gondifari's reign, and that it is almost impossible to identify Yusuf with Jesus. In his 1957 book, The Wisdom of Balaver, David Marshall Lang presented evidence of how confusion in diacritical markings in Arabic texts transformed Budasaf Buddha to be into Yudasaf, Iadasaf, and then Yusasaf, and resulted in the Ahmadiyya assertions, also confusing Kashmir and Kushinara, the place of Buddha's death. 
The Swedish scholar Per Besko in Jesus in Kashmir, historian Om N. Legend 1981 also concluded that Ahmad had misidentified traditions about Gautama Buddha in the Bilifar wa Yudasaf legend as being about Jesus. Besko updated his conclusions in English in 2011. Topic. Mare Baba, 1925 Topic. According to Indian spiritual master Mare Baba, when Jesus was crucified, he did not die physically. But, he entered the state of Nirvikalp Samadhi the I am God state without bodily consciousness. On the third day, he again became conscious of his body, and he travelled secretly in disguise eastward with some apostles, most importantly with Bartholomew and Thaddeus, to India. This was called Jesus' resurrection. After reaching India, Jesus travelled further east to Rangoon, in Burma, where he remained for some time. He then went north to Kashmir, where he settled. After Jesus's spiritual work was completed, Jesus subsequently dropped his body, and the body was buried by the two apostles in Harvan, at Khan Yar, district of Kashmir. Topic. Holger Kursen, 1981 In 1981, Holger Kursen, a German writer on esoteric subjects popularized the subject in his Christ lived in India. Kursen's ideas were among various expositions of the theory critiqued by Gunter Gronbold in Jesus in Indian. Das Ende einer Legende Munich, 1985. Wilhelm Schneemelcher states that the work of Kursen which builds on Ahmad and the Aquarian Gospel is fantasy and has nothing to do with historical research. Schneemelcher states that Kursen combines elements from various previous authors such as Notovich, Ahmadiyya Beliefs, and Levi Dowling. Gerald O. Collins also states that Kurson's work is simply the repackaging of a legend for consumption by the general public. Among texts cited by Kurson, following Andreas Faber Kaiser, is the third khanda of the Pratisarga Parvan in the Bhavishya Mahapurana, which contains discussion of Isa Masi and Muhammad. However, Indologists such as Gronbold note that this section postdates not just the Quran, but also the Mughals. Hiltbeitel 2009 establishes 1739 as the very earliest possible date for the section. Topic: Other theories. Topic: A number of other theories have been proposed. E.g., in 1992, in her book Jesus the Man, Dr. Barbara Thiering suggested that Jesus and Judas Iscariot had been crucified together, but Jesus survived, married Mary Magdalene traveled around the Mediterranean area and then died in Rome. In 1995, Kenneth Hosking also suggested that Jesus survived crucifixion, but stated that Jesus was the teacher of righteousness mentioned in the Dead Sea Scrolls and decades later 73 AD died as the leader of the Jewish forces which unsuccessfully fought the Romans during the Siege of Masada. Topic. Mormonism and claims of Jesus in the Americas Topic. According to the Book of Mormon, Jesus visited an Israelite people led to the Americas around 600 BC to avoid the Babylonian conquest after his resurrection. Evidences of Christ in America are claimed in the legends of Viracocha in South America, and Quetzalcoatl in Central America. While some Mormon scholars have interpreted Quetzalcoatl legends to represent Jesus, other historians and archaeologists believe that the story of Quetzalcoatl dates back at least 900 years before the time of Christ, with some signs pointing to 3000 or even 5000 BC. The Book of Third Nephi states, 10. Behold, I am Jesus Christ, whom the prophets testified shall come into the world. 12. And it came to pass that when Jesus had spoken these words the whole multitude fell to the earth, for they remembered that it had been prophesied among them that Christ should show himself unto them after his ascension into heaven. 14. Arise and come forth unto me, that ye may thrust your hands into my side, and also that ye may feel the prints of the nails in my hands and in my feet, that ye may know that I am the God of Israel, and the God of the whole earth, and have been slain for the sins of the world. Topic. Artistic and literary renditions Topic. 
In 1996, the documentary Mysteries of the Bible presented an overview of the theories related to the travels of Jesus to India and interviewed a number of scholars on the subject. Edward T. Martin's book King of Travelers, Jesus. Lost Years in India 2008 was used as the basis for Paul David's film Jesus in India 2008 shown on the Sundance Channel. The book and film cover Martin's search for Notovich S. claimed Life of Isa, the book Lamb, the Gospel According to Biff, Christ's Childhood Pal, by Christopher Moore, is a fictional comedy which tells the story of Jesus' adolescence and his travels to India and China from the point of view of Jesus' best friend Biff. See also Life of Jesus in the New Testament Infancy Gospel of Thomas Swoon Hypothesis Substitution Hypothesis Basilidians Gospel of Basilides Islamic view of Jesus' death Gospel of Barnabas References Topic. Further reading topic. Fida Hasnain. Search for the Historical Jesus. Down to Earth Books, 2006. ISBN 1-878115-17-0 Charles Potter Lost Years of Jesus Revealed, Fawcett, 1985. ISBN 0-449-13039-8 Elizabeth Clare Prophet The Lost Years of Jesus, Documentary Evidence of Jesus's 17-Year Journey to the East. Gardiner, Mont, Summit University Press, 1987. ISBN 978-0-916766-87-0.